hi this is Satoshi mama thank you for watching our video thank you for being there for us please do not forget to share with your friends and press the notification button also follow us on facebook on touchable mama page you can also see me on a touchable mama backup page we are there for you thank you for being there thank you one love i appreciate each and everyone bye You know, Madi Sokma is just a woman who was trying to buy money with love. She forgot that. Mm -mm. She thought, okay, if I have one child, if I have two kids, if I have three children for the man, it might not make bright the husband, the, the uh, Ben so son. Is it Brati Sokma? Whatever that one, that boy name is a boy in Amukia. You know? She thought, oh, I, if I start giving birth, it might not make the guy to love me or something. No, sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes, even though you have 10 children for a man, a man who would not love you would not love you regardless. But most of these people, most of these women, they fail to realize it. They feel, oh, it's a, a matter of, okay, let me buy this guy with money. Let me spoil him with money. Let me make this guy, you know, handicapped. You see? That is why, that is the issue Ajebo is battling now. Ajebo, uh, Ajepako, go, go. he has been so spoiled to the extent that he cannot even walk. He can't do nothing for himself because glory spoiled him. Imagine if, uh, when Ajepako just came to Europe, Spain years ago, and the first thing Gloria told him was, oh, you have your paper now, you have your social security number now, the next thing for you to go look for, you have your NI number now, the next thing is for you to go get a job, you cannot be at home, trust me, Ajebo would, Ajepako would have been used to working, but because when he came to Spain, Glory was, okay, you are in Spain now, I should still continue that it be a gear job and all of that. You guys know I'm trying to censor some of my words because of Facebook. They say Facebook take down if you use some kind of words and it's not being censored, they can take your page down or they can cut the live stream, like I was told, guys. So you guys know I really don't know how they do this Facebook live stream thing, you know. I'm just learning it and my admin is trying to teach me more about it. So that is the issue Ajekpako is facing now. He's so lazy now because he was all year way boy. I'm a man. Even now, ya ya go ali we na even now ya register with agencies here. Even ya go ma go ali we na. He's not used to that type of life because glory spoiled him from the get go. You see what I mean? So that's the same issue, Madi Sokma. I hope you guys can see. Did she go back to her husband or not? Okay, okay. Hey, my baby, baby, I have to use this, my other phone, to check now. I didn't see your comment. Guys, okay, I just saw some comments are just coming now, guys. Okay, I mean, did she go back to her husband or no? They are still trying to pass it, you know? The truth is, like I was saying, my, uh, Mandy Sokma thought she would be able to, you know, spoil this guy with money, buy this guy's love with money. You know, but what have, what that guy had for Mandy Sokma was just infatuation. It was not real love. It was not genuine love. But Mandy loved the guy. So she believed, okay, I love the guy. I can give this guy money. I can give this guy the children's benefit. And let's see how it works. But Mandy Sokma failed to realize that, no, it doesn't work like that for men. You know? Even if you have 10 children, you have the good body, you have the good stature, a man that would not still, that would still find you unattractive, will still find you unattractive. Whether you have 10 kids for him, whether you build a house and give it as a, you gift it to him, uh, whether you build a, uh, you have an estate and you put his name in the trust, you know, a man who would not love a woman would not love a woman. That is what Madi Sokman is battling. And what led to Madi Sokman's issue? It's simple. It's very basic. Low self-esteem. Madi Sokma has low self-esteem. And I say, I was waiting to say, I go on there. <laughs> and I say, you like this day. Okay. Yeah. So, Madi Sokma has a little problem. Which is 
low self-esteem she has low self-esteem so she thought she was going to be she was going to buy this guy with cash she was going to buy this guy's love you know she was going to monetize the guy's love but trust me it doesn't work like that so that's the issue she's battling now she's still looking for her to go she's still looking the guy is totally fed up with her the guy don't want anything to do with her again you know that is to tell you after almost 20 years the thing still packed up because if the love is not there it's not there <clears throat> I the wagon. If the love is not there, it's not there. Then even you can act by say, and even you can manage say, you know. So that is why in most cases I don't encourage it. I always encourage like genuine love for each other. Okay, I'm not a relationship therapist, guys. You know, I'm just say talking due to what I saw on Facebook about Madi Sok, my that big nose, he gunami, he went a boo, you know, you know, and what really made me put that spotlight on her was because when John Osage had issue with her, Winifred the other time, she came out and she said all manner of things she was lying if she had just talked and contributed her own stuff you know wasn't it was not going to be a problem you know it was that after everybody did had a one or two things to say but i personally had some things to also ship in as well but she came in and she started lying genocide beat winifred in canada genocide did this and i know this way just lies you know those things were whatever she's that came out from her mouth here just lied. She was the one who was actually thank you so much. Okay, amazing. Love and like this video, guys. <laughs> Love and like this video, guys. Guys, I'm getting used to this stuff gradually. You know. She was the one who was actually having issues with her husband. Who the husband? Good evening, you see my peace over here. You know, her husband will beat her. Her husband would, you know, send her. Well, her husband would say, I'm not interested. To the extent they even built a house in Nigeria. Her name was not even added in the house plan. To tell you she has been in problem, she has been having issue in that uh, marriage. You see, but she came out and projected it, whatever she was going through that time. When Dion Osage's issue came out, it was an apple opportunity to, for her to project it on Dion Osage. Whatever she was going, going through in the hands of uh, uh, Isokma, who, uh, who she was once married to, you know, she projected it on Dion Osage. She was the one who, uh, who the husband was beating. Should I say the ex-husband now? I think that would be a better word. Good evening, Julie. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you for coming. You know, she was going through it and she tried to project it on someone else. You see? One Nestle, it's both in eyes, everything. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for coming. I really do appreciate, guys. So that was what happened. Whatever she was going through, she would try to pro project it on Diana Saigi and all of that and lied. You know, that this and that, this and the which was actually what she was going through in the hands of uh, herself. But one thing, one thing I liked that Mandy Sokman did was that she came out herself, you know, to tell everybody who cared to listen about it. Oh, she has, she's no longer with her husband. She has left her husband, you know. She came out and said it by herself. She didn't wait, like I said, in the video I did five, six days ago. She didn't wait for her and uh, Atuari to start having issues and Atuari will start threatening her with, hey, yeah, I have your secret. I have your secret. I have your audios. I have your record, your whatever, blah, 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 rubbish that would have been she came out and she talked about it herself oh she's no longer in her husband's house so if a uh, boss knows uh, Madi Sokma with her to her, if they have disagreement tomorrow you know she will be she will not be scared because she already came out to say it. actually I might just say hey your husband don't push you which is a like is a is a banter it's going to be a banter between them as a then which is not a problem but it would have been more shocking it would have been more surprising if a uh, actuary had come to tell her she is no longer with her husband the husband is always beating her the husband told her to leave social media and she disobeyed she disagreed and that led to whatever issue they've been having before you know that further led to what broke the camera's back she was using her story of Johnson. That is where I'm interested. Yes, my darling. Yes, yes. Like I said, you know. Yeah. 
You know, that's one good thing she did. She didn't let anybody tell us the story. She came out and said it by herself. That's the only good thing. One thing, no way we I didn't know why they hear my life. She didn't wait for any boy. Uh, actually, because actually knows that story personally. I think she she said like actually was the one who later gave us the more confirmatory statement about the uh, the quarrel with her husband that oh they built two houses and her name was not in any of the document. They are always fighting. Uh, they are about to be grandparents and they are still, you know, exchanging uh, feasts at home. You know, so that would have been surprising if Atuari had come to tell, tell us about it. All hell would have been let loose as a then. But she did the honorable thing by coming out to tell us by herself. Oh, she's no longer with her husband. She left her husband. She has, she's having marital issues, you know, which is fine, you know. The only issue, like I said before, why I put a beam light on her was when she came out and started lying, when the Onosage and Winifred issue came out, you know? She came, she would have just given her own view, she would have just said her own, her own part of it, but she came out and started lying. You know, that was what, that the Onosage and Winifred issue, the first day I talked about it, I just, I just talked, you know, briefly, I was just very light on it, I didn't want to go into details about it, you know? But until I saw her in a live video saying Genosage beats Winifred in Canada, Genosage does this in Canada, I was like, really? Because we are all everybody Maya now. Nobody's a nobody's a mumu except some people. Uh -huh. Maybe having a needle or whatever, which I don't really like to generalize, you know. How can you say on not even in a in not, not even in a year, year country, advanced country for that matter? All the Winifred, all you met here alive on it. Since Osage and Winifred left, Osage has been to Canada two or two or three times. I think in me and every Facebook, oh, we in Ray, Canada, in Ray, Toronto, in Ray, I think, uh, whatever, Vancouver, be all those areas over there, I think Ontario, somewhere around there, you know. So, since himself and Winifred left, if he had any of those things, I'm not sure the immigration would let him in because it's going to be in his in his uh, paper. Why did she say it's Frank and, and Kate that destroy our marriage? You know, she just wanted to use that one to lace it up, my darling amazing. Of course, nobody, no presenter chased that out of her. She chased that. Said, the, the marriage in it, from the beginning, oh, they love him, marry, marry, genie at all. The, if you see the boy and the girl now, you'll know, say, there's no chemistry. You'll know, know they look their picture. Why get picture in your van in moon? Why in your why get chemistry? It's like before that guy will see for no and take picture. Eh, my this sock, my carry, my carry bright day where me, me, eh, worry about children benefit. You're in where me, me, don't give me my my picture. That's the kind of body language in your name. If you see their pictures, you know that oh, there's no chemistry. You know, she just wanted to lace it up with oh, Kate and uh, Frank drove out. Of course, nobody drove out from a marriage. There was no love from the beginning. There was nothing binding them, even though she had kids. That were supposed to be like ties to them, but they were still not binding because in Yama Fiti Gbe Wahinya say if you get it according to us, even you winning no man spiritual. If you look them where well, you see, say they not get chemistry, you know. She was just forcing the guy, the guy was managing. Maybe when they have quarrel, the families will be like, Oh, a more a more a why we were trying to love me before you know 10 years already in the marriage. I'm telling you, it runs so fast, and you're asking yourself, Hello, wait a minute, when did I get married? Are you for real? Is it 10, 12, 11, 13 years now? You know, it runs so fast. So that's what has been keeping. No presenter actually saw the marriage. No presenter had anything to do with a marriage. The marriage just, you know, it took a natural course when it, it needed to, you know. In your body body chemistry, coupled with the dragging of Facebook, dragging the Bisokma, the Bensos family, and all of that. So that for that compounded in one letter marriage. She just wanted to buttress it. She just wanted to lace it up with a Katie a Frank or who you want the real in Yahoo. You know those two presenters were really on her neck. They put their legs on her neck. They were on her neck. When those when those two presenters started with Madison, it was Wadore. You 
guys know. So I'm sure she actually felt their hand in her body. So it was like a hair. He don't tiny one less hair to spice it up, so to say now. Nobody, then nobody, nobody. The marriage was based on no love. You know? Like I saw one uh one quote. They said, Marriage is not all about love. It takes more than love. When the love dies in the marriage, what makes it keep going? At times understanding, at times growth, at times, you know, maturity. When when you say uh, love, at times children are not even enough to keep marriage going. You know, that is why we have some people who are married and they divorce and they start having child custody issue and all of that. You know, marriage, it takes more than marriage. It takes more than love to be married, you know. That was what happened to, that was what a uh, boss knows, uh, Maddie Sokman did not know, did not realize. She thought, oh, if I start giving this guy money, if I start giving him money, if I start having kids for him, you know, it might make him have a change of heart or change of mind. But at last, that wasn't the case for the guy. The guy was not just really into her. You know, some marriage, some, some people see these things before. My Like Madi Sokma, to an extent in her own issue, she was truthful. She said the guy never loved her. She was the one who loved the guy. I tell her, Maybe honestly, if she had not just come to start throwing those, throwing those jabs uh, at the other side when he had issue with the ex-wife then, or the wife, because me and Mary Tony go now move young, Winifred. Uh, hey, I, I would have just talked briefly on it and let it go because or ten matter where the guy man like him, you know, like a or ten matter money. And she was also bold enough to tell us by herself, oh, she's no longer in the marriage again. You know, not waiting for somebody to not start using it to blackmail. If you talk, I will come play your audio. If you talk, I will come tell the world, say you're not there as my house again. No, she came out and she said it. I said that was a big one on her. That to me personally, I give her kudos. For for that uh -huh. if not for the first part of when as at the time i really knew her she lied coming out to say yeah a white bear a police in adore and then they mean that i you not lie when you're not you lie sitting in a gauge it makes no sense that's why i keep telling us let's be critical in our thinking you know let us always try to have this good assimilation skills like my sister would say you know it helps a lot so that a presenter, a presenter, they talk go here. Yeah, you don't already know where the presenter they go, you know. Not be say presenter, one presenter, come they use your hand ahead, they do bang, bat it, bang, bat it. At a very now, I'm we are a what a be what we are an artist for what now because you decided to invest your time to watch somebody does not mean they should come and start giving you gibberish, seriously speaking, you know. And that is why I keep saying, always. Always, always read the handwriting and always see the red flags, especially in relationships, in marriage. You know, go go out to check because you know, broaden you know, broaden your horizon in, in when it has to do with marriage. Because this is somebody you are going to be with for the rest for a lo for the longer part of your life. I don't just want to say for the rest of your life because something can happen somewhere along the line. You know, you are going to be with this person for a long time. So I don't want to say you just you are coming to like that you are imagine I are tired. I don't want to I'm trying to censor the word now. Okay. You are going to be with somebody. You don't know anything. You saw a red flag. You saw that this mass, this guest father has been married for seven times, has seven wives, has this, has this. And you still want to go into that. You didn't study this person very well before going into that marriage. And before you know the same thing that this child, it could be a boy, it could be a girl, so to say. And before you know the same thing this girl has been used to in the better part of her life, the better part of where she has spent her life in her father's house, in her parents' home, this is what she says, this is what she's accustomed to, this is how she has trained herself. Then you not think that you that just saw her less than a year ago would not change her. No. You understand, guys? So that is why I always say, please do your background check, do your checking. It's not like, oh, you are too selective, you are too this. No. Because like me, me like a stress, a stress of hard work. I know some things are bad, some things are avoidable. Some things are avoidable if you are patient to really 
investigate if you are patient to really you know take your time to see to wash out to lose this is the kind of life i want is it? okay look at some uh, uh one uh, issue i don't know if you guys know this uh, for my uh, nigeria bar association chairman this bini guy uh Akpata. how many of you know him how many of you know him? This former NBA chairman that did my this a month in I think on the twenty second of October last year. Oh, we marriage. That marriage had uh, Osiba and Joe, former vice president. That marriage, that marriage had political big breaks in Nigeria. They were present in that marriage. They've been together for a couple of years. That marriage, as at February, they were already separated. I think they are they should be divorced now. Oh, they're in the divorce process now. You know, I don't want to go into what happened, what led to their divorce and all of that. How many of you know him? This uh, Akpata guy, what's his name now? For my uh, Nigeria Bar Association chairman, Olumide Akpata, he's a Bini guy. You guys know Akpata and the Akpata family now at the uh, off uh, along Gozaru, Oza Sakmamba, off Sakmamba Road there, that family there. That's where the guy is from, you know. He got married. The marriage didn't even last up to four, four months. You know? So many things, so many things, so many things. When I heard the story, so many red flags. They've been cutting for a long time. But they, they kept ignoring the red flag. They kept ignoring the... Knowing that the both of you are, have prospect of being together. Have the prospect of being husband and wife. Have the, have the prospect of being... Of trying to spend your happily together after. So what was the reason that made you to ignore those red flags? You know? They, it's not like they just cut it for a few years. So they cut it for a very long time before they got married last year. They got married in October, I think either October 22nd or 20, I'll check this over here. Either the October 22nd or 26th, one of the dates there. A month in our bar, one year. As a January, as a, okay, let me say first week of February, they were already separated. So that's what I keep saying. They were cutting for a long time. They saw the many red flags that the both of them, mm -mm 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 -mm, they are just wore that part. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As block would have it, the guy became NBA chairman, NBA president of Nigeria, Nigeria Bar Association, you know, he met, he had this connection and, Maybe the girl will be like, mm, I bet the money is already there every other At times, the money will be there and the person's character will stink. It's both ways anyway. And you'll be like, no, this is not the kind of person I want to spend it together after with. But you guys caught it for a long time. They were both ignoring the red flags. They were both ignoring the dislikes. They were both ignoring what they would not like, the, what they would not like in the man, what they would not like in their future husband, what they would not like in their future wife. They were both ignoring it. You know, forgetting that you guys are going to be together one day. You're going to be in the same house one day. You know? So after that, after they got married, the both of them could not fit each other. This is people who've caught it for a long time. So it can never be, like I keep saying, seeing red flags can never be overemphasized. Like a saying goes, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. A broken relationship is better than, if it's something you would just say, if, if they had caught it for that long time and they now said, you know what? This thing is not going to work because you do something that I don't like, that I don't think... I can fit in, or I don't think I can be. I can be able to handle it for a long while. You know, it could have just been better than after inviting the big politicians, vice president, uh, the McBinadian, the uh, Ibori or Shomole. They were all in the marriage in Benin last year. You know, and before you know, not up to three months, the thing just went sour. So it's better we all look out for for red flags is better we all try to know try to become i don't know i don't like stress anyway so it's better when you see that red flag if if it's something if it's a red flag that you say you tell the girl listen or you tell the girl listen this is something i don't think i want to buy this is i don't think this is something i'll be able to curtail in a long while in a long time you know 
if the guys want to start making adjustments to see if he can change better, but if he's not, then you guys just just go your separate ways. If you see yourself outside, you can still say hi if you're in the mood to do that. You know, instead of not living in a bitter way, fighting bitter divorce or this, uh, like you guys can see what is happening between Cora and the other guy. Hey, Mara, oh, nah. The Cora and Justin, is it the Mara oh, at all, you know? Oh. Emma, sometimes I don't just want to look that they are this thing because it get as it be. Eh? The, the magic to the, the papa and mother, they are always all over. The mother knows the kind of things to get started. She will do anything, not minding the, you know, the, 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 the mental state of those children. You know, those children, like those children are going to grow up with two personalities. They are going to grow up with their father personality. They are going to grow up with their mother personality. Because this week they are doing like this. They are okay. The other week they are, their character is the other way. The other week their character is, you know. So all those kind of things. Do you want to have children to, that will not be experiencing that kind of thing? You know, it's not easy, eh? You know what is called damage was for the kids to be damaged. It's not easy. This week they are in one of the parents that is okay. The other week they are in the other parent that is dramatic. The other parent. So they are going to have multiple personality. You know what I mean? And you know what that is? It's difficult. It's a big deal. It's a big issue. <laughs> you want to start working with people like that at work is trouble. They want, they want to be your neighbor is trouble. So because they had a lot of childhood bad experiences. But... What do I know? When it has to do with monetization, anybody can do whatever they want to do. So like I said, let me not deviate from what I'm talking about. Please always see the red flag. I don't want to, I don't want any of my person. I don't want, it's good for people not to end up like uh, Ma, Madi Sokma, who saw that this guy never, never loved her, but she thought she could buy the guy with money. Okay, 31 minutes. She thought she could buy the guy with money. She thought she could influence the guy with whatever financial uh, inducement, enticement, you know. She thought she could, okay, maybe with the money is not working. Maybe when the kids start coming, she started popping out the kids and boom, the kids are almost ready now and it's still the way it is. So why waste your time? Why waste your time? Good evening, my darling Sarah, Serafina George, you know. But except that, the only thing she did that I like is she didn't she didn't let somebody else come and say a story for her. She said it the way it is. She said it, oh, she's no longer in her husband's house. She has been having marital issue. Oh, uh, she this man never never loved her. You see, when it got to at home, now, she said the truth. Multiple personalities associated with traumatic experiences resulting to mental issues. Exactly, my darling. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know. So when it got to Madi Sokman, what did she do? She came out and she said the truth. She said the big hey, oh yeah, oh yeah, be. She even covered up. She even covered up for the guy. Say ah, she Madi Sokman, now she there at fault. Now she no, now she love the guy. The guy never love her. So you know. But when it got to another person, she should not wait around with you know, say, get in a bit. So that is what I keep telling you guys. Be very careful. Be vigilant. Be calculative. Please. Always apply your psychology to Facebook. Always. You see? When it got to Jono Sage's issue, whoa, she came out and she started spewing all manner of lies, all manner of rubbish, but the one she was asked to tell the world, and the one she was not even given directive to do so. She said it just to you know make this guy look like the bad guy. Trust me, if Madi Sokma had come out to say, oh, they've been having issues, maybe the both of them didn't have real love for each other, or maybe there was the, the marriage was based on financial gain from both parties, you know. If she had said that, trust me. But when it go, oh see, I got a wife echo. When it go to another person, so oh where while I'm young, oh she's lied. The other side girl, she beats the girl. She did. But when it go to her own turn, and she saw she was wise enough to know come at herself to come and tell the world, not waiting for her and her actually to have issue before I did do anything. I have your audio. I have what your husband said. Your husband cut me. Your mother in law cut me. Yeah, she came out and she said it herself. She's no longer in the marriage. You know she. She's, 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 I think the husband drove her out or she drove the man out. Not man, no, if we let baby win ya ever, but the marriage has gone, you know. Sir, when she came and she shielded the guy, she said it the way it is. 
And I like that she didn't even lie on the guy, but she said it the way it is. But when it got to genocide gets to turn, what did she do? She came out and she said, hey, genocide gets back, 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 back. And she, even white man, the soap man came out to tell us that she was no longer with. She did not tell us that this man was beating her. It was her friend, Mon, uh, actuary, that now told us that, oh, the man has always, they've always been exchanging blows. It was the fist. The man was always using his fist on her and all of that. But she never told her. That is to say, what was going on in her life was what she projected on John Osage, that John Osage was doing with 23. You see? And this is one thing that they do that I don't like. Who after they live in Oshokpa Iwaniri? Who tell me no mere Facebook who pay Iwaniri? So when it got to her own turn, and she was sensible enough to tell the truth that look, girl, this is the way. So why did, did she not do the same thing when it got to Janusage? Oh, she felt oh, when she when Fred was their person, Janusage was not their person. But when it got that's a, a majority of women no fear why you know you bow okay can be walking a booty, you know. When it got to when it got to Janusage. Yeah, most children that go through multiple personality needs proper formulation in order to write treatment due to childhood traumatic experience. Exactly. And that is what Justin and Cora kids are experiencing. Yeah. You know? When it got to John Osage, she came, she lied, she projected whatever she was, was going on between herself and Ben Soson, uh, Bratty Sokma. She projected it on John Osage, that, that was what John Osage was doing with 23. But when it got to her turn, she came out and said the truth. So wh why are you people like this? Why is Maddie Sokma like this? That is why God had to make, that is why God made that marriage uncomfortable for her. Despite what she did, she monetized the marriage. She tried to give birth. She started popping kids. She did everything. Even built a, they gave the man money to build two houses without a name in any of the documents, in any of the deed of ownership. Boom! She still did not get that love. Because Ekoge Emma. Ekoge Emma. You see? So we, it's, it does well, please, those of you watching most of this live, always apply your number six, always, please. Please, always apply one or two, one or two. Is it possible? Could it be? Is it true? Okay, why is it like this? You know, that was why, even before I even, that genocide issue really, really, really pissed me off. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan to any of them, you know. But you like it in another one or two already. If she had just given it a bit to any I would have not even I would have not even be bothered. You see. But she came out and she started saying, "Area would be a one area, area then." So please, I beg. You were the one having that marital issue, but we now go along and we are more you. We now go along and we are more you. Emma. Madi Sokma, go and change your ways, okay? It's not nice. I'm sick and tired of Cora and Justin issue on social media, Madi. I'm telling you, they are making money with it. Now, Cora knows what sells. Justin knows what sells. So, they are making money. Are they going to tell me that they don't say hello to themselves? Any I buy, I drop him over, will we? Don't they drop the children? But the only issue I am having is with the kids. Those kids are going to grow up with multiple personalities because this week they are with Cora and they see their mom whining, going naked in front of live video. And they think, oh, it's right, it's okay. Begging and doing all of that. Oh, it, they think it's okay. Then the following day they are with their dad and their dad is trying to tell them, don't do this. And the following week they are like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, it's not good. Then the following week they are back to, oh, you need to do this, you need to wind your bomb bomb, you need to do, and they think, then they go to their father's and their father will be like, no, you need to put on your, you need to be fully dressed, you know? Imagine children showing, they are going to grow up with multiple personality because the co-parenting is just rubbish. It's just rubbish. So, in as much as we are all, I pray for the children to, to grow up and not, because it's, 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 it's so disheartening. You know? If the, the parents are like, oh, you see, the, the, before the kids, they took them off Facebook then. 
You see, the girl, there was a day Coral, Coral was taking care of the daughter and she opened her leg in front of camera. Opened her leg in front of camera. And the other day, the other time, the dad was taking care of the girl and the dad closed the girl's leg in front of camera. You see? So this week she knows it's good as a girl is good to close your leg. The next, the following week, she she's uh, she's she knows that oh, well, it's good to open your leg, throw your leg all over the place as a girl. You see, it's going to be a big damage to those kids when they grow up. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big damage. If the co-parenting was together, the father and their mother can go on with their drama because after all, they are making money from it. That's not a problem, you know. But the kids, if it was like, oh, these kids need to be properly dressed before you bring them to live video, their hair needs to be combed, they need to brush their teeth. If the mom does the same thing and there's an, there's an agreement between the mom and dad, when the mom is doing video, oh, these kids are properly taken care of, they've eaten, they've done that. And when the dad is doing the live video, the kids have been taken care of, they've been cared for. You know, it's the same co-parenting agreement, not the parents themselves, so, but for the kids. But you say the kids is a different thing. I was seeing a video of Korak daughter, I think this week she was begging for stars. Oh, thank you, give me stars. And when she goes to the dad's place, the dad was like, No, it's not acceptable to beg people for money or for stuff, you know, if if it's not necessary, you know. The daughter told this week she thinks it's not necessary. The following week she thinks is very important because this is what she seals, this is what she grows with, you know. Dysfunctional, and that's why you see so many dysfunctional children all over the place. Even in some schools, those are like me, I always make sure every time I'm, into, I'm really, really into my children. Like I want to see every step they take when they come back from school, the kind of conversation, the kind of everything. If there's something off, I will know something is off. They can name me a day. They can name me a day. I must make sure me. I must make sure I know where that thing is coming from to tackle it quickly. You know. So you know what we do. We should be prayerful. We should be very careful. And we should be vigilant. She be vigilant, you know, like like Mandy Sokmana. She's very Mandy. Of them, lucky when you what the phone of you are. Apart from the children, see the two of them fighting, 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 fighting at the time. You know, you see. So you know, we do. Let's be careful. I'm happy she came out. That like I keep saying before, I, before I end this live stream now. I'm as now. Okay, let me check comments, guys. Mm -hmm. Very dysfunctional children raised by dysfunctional parents. Exactly, exactly. Because one is on the other side, the two is on the other side. That the two of them can be on the different side of divide is okay. But they are supposed to have the same parenting law for those children, the same co-parenting. No, don't bring these children out. Don't do this. But one wants the world to see the children, and the other one don't want the world to see. So the way the children are with their dad, they feel like, oh, it's not okay for everybody to see us. Then once they are with their mom, oh, it's okay for the world to know we are here, you know. So they are going to grow up with different mindset, and it's going to be very very dangerous honestly very, because this week you just see them that's why see some people when you see them this week they are so nice very good when you see them next week they'll be like tiger and you'll be like jesus it's a woman donahi you know these childhood traumatic experiences is is dangerous eh it's dangerous when government keeps treating them um, when they take mental health so seriously a lot of people don't know what it is the money government invests in mental health yearly eh? we so safe <laughs> we are the money they invest in mental health all over the place because they know people are going through childhood and that is why this stuff was even worth led to setting up a uh, children's assistance children uh, uh, protective services, children's aid, children's help, depending on the country, you know, even for adult, adult protective services and all of that. But people don't make use of those services, especially with this social media here. Now, some people will be battling with mental health issues. The next thing is, they will yala lafo, yala lafo, yala lafo, instead of going to get proper treatment. But at the end of the day, they're doing themselves because accumulation of of mental illness can lead to death, can lead to paranoid, can be, lead to, you know, self-harm and a lot of things, but most people don't know, you know, 
I just pray those who are going through challenges, God help them to be honest, to raise the main problem with the marriage, and she's not ready to change because she's psychopathic. Because she has psychopathic behavior, yeah, and she thinks it's all about the money, you know. So I don't really care about the two of them, anyways, like that. But those children, every day, I just imagine those children, they are going to grow up with different kind of personality. Jesus, anybody that marries those two, two girls, the person will have to go for therapy by the time he leaves that marriage. That is why I keep saying, always look out for the details. Imagine somebody wants to go in a house and somebody wants to go and marry those children. And you just say, hey, I want to marry her. I see. When they start to give you body heat, if the person not cold, you go, you could go better person. Yeah. Safeguard the children is the ultimate show. Yeah. So, yeah. And they, and they like that now. They like that. They don't know what is called being child protection. They don't know. It's just all about the money, 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 money. Then I mean, then you go say, ah, why you dead, baby, ladian? I want to come and create one drama to get money, you know? I wish them well, but I pray for the children, for God to help them, for God to give them a brand new mindset, a brand new personality that will not have fed, that will not be a danger to them and to their, to the general public at large, <coughs> you know? So that's it. Like I said on my soak man session. So that's all I have to say for that. You say make I can't talk about my soak man. <laughs> yeah. So that's all for now, my love. That's all I have to say about my dear soak man. She the bottom line of, of 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 her story is she thought money could buy love. Yeah. She thought money could buy love, but at the end of the day it didn't work for her. So the bottom line of my, of my Sokman story is that she thought money could buy love, but it never, money has never ever bought love. It has never ever bought love. That is why if money buys love, this man got divorced, Jeff Bezos. You guys know Jeff Bezos, you know, of Amazon, uh, Elon Musk got divorced. Uh, what is the, uh, this guy? Uh, what's your name? This, this Microsoft man, what's his name? How many of you know him? Uh, Bill Gates got divorced, and most of these big, big, most of these top billionaires, you know, with legitimate money who made their source, who made their money legitimately, most of them are not married. That is to say, like I heard, I read some time ago, the, the Prime Minister of Canada, the wife himself and the wife, I think they are divorced too. That is, imagine a Prime Minister. Prime Minister, like uh -huh, number number one for the country, right? So that is to say, money cannot keep love. If it's not there, it's not there. It's more, it takes more than it cannot keep. I mean, money cannot keep marriage. Even love cannot keep marriage. It takes more than that. Sometimes when the love fades away, maturity growth start taking over. Start taking over. Then before you know, marriage comes in again. You know, it's like that. Then what else again? So that's basically just the bottom line of uh, Madi Sokman's issue. Money cannot buy love. Money cannot buy love. And stop projecting your insecurities on others like she, like she did during Genesis' uh, issue. She was the one who was getting the domestic violence from the guy, but she projected it on someone else, you know? So stop projecting your insecurities on others. And marriage cannot buy, money cannot buy marriage. Money cannot keep a marriage going monetizing your marriage or trying to entice one of the one of your spouse could be the man could be the woman cannot keep a marriage going it can only be there for a long time that is why you see those yeah this person now he has my get money but at the end of the day can't go sleep with rich uh, with a security guy with gates ma not be that they call them from nigeria yeah so she got the money she got the affluence she got the influence but there was something not in the marriage maybe love Maybe the man didn't have time for her. Maybe so many things. You know, it's not just about marrying. You know. It has, it takes more than a lot of things. A lot of things are involved in marriage. So my people, Ameze, I've told you now. What else do you want me to say? So that's it. In all we do, always check out for the red flag. Always check out for the red flags. Make sure if love fades off, what will keep this marriage going?
you know if money is no longer in this marriage what we keep it going so so many so many things are to be brought into consideration you know i'm not a marriage therapist i'm not a marriage counselor guys i'm not a marriage counselor i'm not a marriage therapist i'm not a certified marriage counselor i'm not so i'm just saying from what i have seen so far you know i'm just saying from what i saw in this uh big nose mad boss nose issue you know like she said she thought she was going to keep this marriage she thought money was going to keep this marriage kids we are going to keep this marriage but it never did you know it still went back to the way it is so like she said she's going to be married to her kids she's going to be more into her children i pray she she knows what she's doing because she looks like somebody who is very gullible you know you have to actually think for her you have to do things for you have to make her you have to make her reason that oh it's like this. and she's full of lies you know since i know madi so the only truth she has ever said is this her husband's issue that the guy never loved her she was the one pumping money to see if she could buy the guy's love you know she, that, i think she she was a bit truthful there and she also said she also came at herself to tell us the story she didn't let atuari to come and tell us the story i like that about the i like that particular thing you know like i keep saying those of you who are looking for presenters to be your friend, it would I get problem? Would I get marital problem? What go the presenter? I'm a presenter. I don't want to tell you that marital problem. Is it not the suicide? The suicide they always tell me. So please, you guys should do better. If you know you are looking for, look at my disok mother day. When the when she got when she her marriage got packed up, she turned on a live video and said it. So that's like what I said. If you know you are having issues, instead of looking for one presenter that will not come and use it to make more clear of you tomorrow, and this way he has my not day. This is how your boy a live video where hey hey your husband don't leave you oh uh, he get one of his friends do your husband leave oh man i will cry directly uh, maybe i should just they come you want to put put leg for grand kere, kere, kere. Uh, hey. instead of tomorrow before you say you are personal they talk again i do yeah i will live video i will come talk with you you tell me i will come talk you and your mother in law take care i will come talk you when you say live video now free put your hand for life talk on. in live video is not made for one person so everybody so put your hand there and say instead of allowing somebody to not be threatening you with it, I come and say what your grandmother told me. I come and say what your mother in law told me. I come and say what you told me about your mother in law. What you told me about your this. What you told me about it's not nice. It doesn't make sense. You know? It's annoying. When I see video like that, I just I would just be annoyed. Like so uh, somebody wrote on the, the comment section that day that oh I should also talk to about the presenter. Oh, no. Who, who 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 does this thing? I would have talked to a presenter who does this thing if the you have not seen that it has not been a serial occurrence if it has not been a repeated thing from presenters out of oh but you see it repeating repeating that you are still going back to fall into it no oh well una oh well so if it's something that you see that <laughs> Maybe you are going through something, you are going through problems. Instead of looking for presenter, one presenter that will not be able to keep your secret tomorrow. If anything, if if anything happens, or maybe you people fall apart, turn on your live video and say it. It's better. You see? That's why you see Maddie Sokman, she just said that oh, who want, whoever wanted to do video with it did video, and that's it. She's free now. And she's not like, hey, hey, fear no, let me talk. No, Maddie can go and comment on anywhere now. She will not be scared that her secret will be here because, hello, she already said it with her mouth. Uh -huh. And because she's also a full time life video presenter. So, please. Because you never can tell what will happen tomorrow. So instead of just looking for uh, one, yeah, yeah, that one good type, one presenter saying get problem. Tomorrow, the account they use that mock you. Turn on your live video and say it. They're waiting to happen. Say it. You might get two or three people commenting. Like I'm doing video now. I think 10 people are watching me. You might get like two or three people commenting. The other wallet has been commenting. Amazi has been commenting. That's it. You might see two or three people commenting, you know. And you get that kind of a little bit healing or closure. I'll say closure, not healing, per se. You know? That's it, because some of these presenters, when they have your secret, they now, they now start behaving like God. You can't commit. You can, does that not the same thing that we are doing to in the Osama say and Enoge that time? Because like, actually, we thought he had their marital problem, their relationship problem, or whatever they are having there. If the guy commits, he commits. If he not commit, he do this. He not do this. He not do this. It became a problem. 
Because, but when they came out and said it by themselves, did you see see actually from it God over them? No. Rather, she could not even talk to it. They are not gay, they Like, no gay, we saw where we are from a maturity. So you know that this thing, you can say it on your own. Why are you looking for one presenter to go and tell your life history to? Turn on your live video and say it. If you cannot bring your face out for now, be doing uh, the one Meluza is doing. You guys can see now, Puma, I'm in China right now. According to Amaze, my love. Yeah. So that is it, please. I don't I you like him in Wawame with Na Nasunu Dama. Why they do Queen no Sunu Dawa ne wake? Eh man na I'm obo ma baby only, please. I beg. Again and again, this thing keeps happening. Nand good day. Now person will go come. Oh I wa got on a wa na wa do bunu your tafu we ah eh man na ma Especially this time of uh, of 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 monetization, is jail. Hey, the person die where well, not be so. She be some people they happy say not be because a uh, uh, face any uh, any uh, patient not dege. Not be make this not issue. Not be make an. You go not to area you new phone yam. I wait to yah wait me agbon. But then um, my phone I get wait to na want talk. Talk on, on live video, talk and then you'll see two or three people comment, you'll move. If, if you don't see two or three people, if you drop and down before you know one person will comment there. You know? I think it's better. That's, like I said, that's the only good thing. Ni wa me we ma di sok ma ona wa la di ando yu nu eta. You know let her actually record the user and do in your I don't play your audio. I get your audio. No, she just come and talk about herself. You know what I say? If they come quarter tomorrow, no, she nothing will be used against her. Because she came out to say it by herself. Hello? So that's it, my people. Oh, I well, see. Let me be going. Any other thing? Uh, uh, so, guys, I want to be doing one, maybe once in a week if I have chance. I want us, I want to be uh, doing some throwback or some literature, uh, novels, some, um, if, if you guys tell me some of the novels you want us to talk about. You know, like this currently, I've read Macbeth more than 50 times, but I'm still reading it right now. You know, I've read, uh, The Great Gatsby. I have, so you guys just tell me the kind of literature, uh, novels you want us to read about or to talk about. Like, it's kind of throwback, guys. Just do throwbacks on some of those, uh, novels. Uh, oh, there was one of that was, I just remember, I used to read that novel years ago, years ago. SM Waka. How many of you know SM Waka? That man that was at uh, Textile Mirror. That he has his publishing company at Textile Mirror then. XM Waka. I love his, I love his stories. A day old baby with a perfect set of teeth. Uh, uh, we should that novel. Oh my God. Sugar Girl. How many of you can remember Sugar Girl Ralia? Uh, oh God, it's been a long time. But the ones in I read in uh, college, I can remember those ones. Uh, which one again? Mm. Sugar Girl, Paris. Every woman's novel, yeah, Sugar Girl. Yeah. So you guys tell me. I want to be doing throwbacks or novels. Maybe once in a week if I have chance to come. You guys know I don't come out like that. Maybe once in a week or twice in a week. Maybe once in a week will be better. Weekend like this. Uh yes, I remember. You remember? Yes, I come. Sugar girl rally. I love that. I love her. I love love. Oh my god, Jesus. Then um Mm, how many of you remember the day old baby with a perfect set of teeth? My father, thank you. Who wrote that? Paris, Paris. 